All right, hello everybody. We're going to do another video on customer IO, and this video is going to focus on broadcasts and newsletters in particular. Uh, there's two kinds of broadcasts. Uh, there's newsletters and API triggered broadcasts. API triggered ones are events that come into the system and then automatically will send broadcast versions of your email to the segments you define within the event. It's more technical. Uh, we're not going to worry about that today. So we're going to focus on newsletters, which means everything that you configure within customer I.O. is at your fingertips, no code, essentially. And uh, it's all within the system. All right. Uh, this is what you would think of traditionally in terms of email marketing. Like you put together a list, you put an email uh, together for that list, and then you send the email to that list. Uh, <clears throat> you can, uh, there's a couple of, filters and search functions here uh, that you can do when you have use when you end up getting a lot of broadcasts. You can filter by the dates you sent them. You can filter by tags if you have um, an organizational structure or naming conventions that you want to put in place. There's also sorting by you know when it was sent, the name, date you created it, um, and so forth. Uh, there's different channels that you can use for broadcast too, and that's an additional filter. The focus of this video is gonna be on email, though. So. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and create a broadcast. I'm gonna say test broadcast three here, because um, that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna do a newsletter. Like I said, we're not doing the API. And if I have tags that I wanna put in place, I can do that at the beginning when we First name. All right, we'll create a broadcast. The first thing it asks you to do is to define your audience. Honestly, I don't know why really, especially if you have like a big database, I don't know why we have this option here. You'll notice that when you click that option, you get this little pop-up that says, hey, sending emails to everyone in your database is probably a bad idea. So <clears throat> I've never done it. Always use some kind of segmentation to make sure that the message that you're sending out matches the uh, customers that you want to send it to. So in terms of how you define who you're sending the message to, you have four options here. You'll notice when you compare it to campaigns, the option for events is missing. And that is because broadcasts with newsletters are done in a single point of time. Events continuously come into customer IO when you set it up uh, with your engineering team, which means it doesn't match the purpose of what a broadcast newsletter is. So. If you want to filter on events that your users have created, you have to do that in a segment. And so it's possible, but you don't have the straight event option here. So you can add a segment um, that you have created in Customer I.O. You can do it uh, explicitly off of an attribute condition, and those are just all of the properties that are within Customer I.O. You can add a newsletter condition, and this is any newsletter that's previously uh, been sent, and then uh, a message condition, which broadens it out to any of the emails that have been sent out of your database. You can uh, do really broad of any email or get really specific and choose the type of email that you're sending uh, that you wanted to use as your filter, okay? All right, so we're just gonna do a segment here and uh, move forward. When you choose your segment, you'll notice that this popped up and it's giving you the option of uh, controlling how it's sent out. So you can decide whether or not unsubscribe people get it. In most cases, that should be no. Uh, if you have a message limit, which uh, means that contacts can only receive a certain number of messages within a time period, you can choose whether or not you want that to be included. And then there's a send rate option here, which means customer IO will send the message out as fast as possible or you can limit how quickly the message sends out. If you have a really big database, I personally like to extend it over a time period. So let's say I'll only send 250 messages over an hour, like pretty slow. Uh, depending on your database size and how long you wanna take it, let's say you have a database of 300,000 people and you wanna take it over five or six hours and the reason would be that extending that will sometimes make email inbox providers look at you a little better as opposed to sending everything out super fast all at once. Now I will say, customer IO, if you do this send as fast, send as fast as possible, let's say you have a database of 300,000 contacts, 
those messages won't send out all at once. There's actually an inherent send rate limit. And uh, I don't know what the actual number is, but if I were to guess, it's probably in the realm of between like four to 6,000 uh, per minute. So don't quote me on that. I will actually follow up with customer I own and see if I can get an answer. All right, sorry for the deviation. All right, so let's, we've got this all set. We're gonna go um, into our message creation. Again, today we're gonna focus on email, but you can also do in-app push, SMS, and webhooks. Uh, <clears throat> for email, you'll, it'll put in your first email here, and I will click on that, and then you can create it. Now, we're not gonna take a lot of time in the email creation today. That's gonna be a different video, but here's where you'll be able to choose your template so let's say I'm just gonna use this template here and uh, put in some necessary details like a subject line of, hey, hope you're fine. Um, there's all, all the other configurations we'll save. And we'll come back. Now, <clears throat> on this right-hand side here, you can actually do tests. So build your first email out. And then if you're gonna do an A-B test, like click to add a test, and now you've got the option to add a variation here. How the testing works is I'm gonna choose a sample percentage of my list that we're gonna send these two versions out. So let's say I create, and you can create more than two, but I'm gonna just create two, and we'll call this version B, and this duplicates everything within this first version. If I'm adding, if I go here and make changes, and then I add an additional variation, it's going to copy version A here, not version B. So anything that you create in a version here will not get passed down to like C or D. It always goes off of version A, all right? Again, you can choose a sample percentage of what will be sent. <clears throat> and then uh, you can decide whether you will manually choose the winner or if you want it to automatically happen. And the automatic uh, send is determined by a time frame and a metric. So you would choose the metric which is either opens, clicks, or conversions, and conversions you will define here in the goal section. And then you choose a time period. So let's just say we're gonna do, we're gonna base it off of open rate after an hour, okay? This is important to know right here. It is just an explicit winner at the time that you uh, chose here. It is not a statistically significant winner. So a lot of the times it might automatically send and then at the end of it, you'll see that your winner actually performed a little worse. That can happen. Uh, <clears throat> so it's up to you whether you wanna do it automatically. All right, we'll save it next and that takes us to the goal. Uh, we've done this in campaigns before, but again, you can add a goal and decide that how that's defined and we'll just say that they enter the segment of paying customers after they have opened this, if they've opened this in the past week. Uh, <clears throat> that will influence if you choose, again, the testing here by conversion rate. That's what that is looking at. And then you're about ready to go. You can review. It'll give you any errors that are there that will prevent you from sending the broadcast. And then uh, you can either send it or you can schedule it for a later date and time if you so choose. All right. So that's the basic tour of broadcast newsletters in Customer IO.